Hello everyone, welcome to the Cloud Network. In this tutorial, let us install Ubuntu Server next version that is coming 15.40. We will it wireless. So this is daily build version that is used on. I am going to install on VirtualBox. You can also install on VMware Workstation. To begin the installation, this is you can install on your desktop or server also. I mean a laptop also with the help of pen drive bootable you need to have at least 4 gb or you need to have a uh, dvd or CD, you need to have dvd empty you need to make both pen drive and dvd bootable, bootable so in my video you will find how to make a pen drive bootable and cd video with the iso image so warning this is the this image which you are going to download which is oversized which is a bug only so will not fit onto the standard 700 mb cd so how are you may still test it by using dvd how a usb drive on a virtual machine so this is the minimum requirement is you need to have 300 mega processor or three, 348 mb of ram you need to have at least free space you need to have 1 gb or 5 gb and the graphics you need 1024 into 76 so let us begin now so just open your browser uh, and type ubuntu vvd downloads so here you can see on the screen you need to type and open the first link and you can open so second links both are the desktop and this is server supported and just click on this your website you will find ubuntu desktop 15.04 maybe we are like daily okay build so this is your desktop version image and this is on this desktop image you will find pc or intel that is for your desktop image and this is for your uh, amd you can for intel processor you can download this one for amd processor you can download this one and this is for the 32 bit and this is for 64 bit support so this way this is how it is showing warning also showing you can download from a torrent also here is showing about this torrent file so you can use this is your ismh and this is your list amd okay you can download for just click on this one okay and then it will begin so you can see this is the size of at least 1 gb which i have already downloaded let me show you and this you can see the stop image this is 1 gb the size and this 64 bit and for 32 bit suppose you can click on this one download iOS image and this is also 1 gb size so this is for standard and this over size is showing nothing okay now uh, this is my uh, we wait desktop amd 64 bit supported which i have downloaded 1 gb so let us begin now how to install it now so this is my virtual box just click to create it now and to type here ubuntu and I type version 15.04 and this is very okay and then we need to begin select for now you need to select this 32 bit or 64 bit select which you have you have downloaded by clicking here 32 bit or 64 bit click on next assign the ram or do not go beyond to this red mark okay you need to be instead on the green point uh, next click to next 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 this is my hard disk search which i am going at least 15 gb okay this is the location which is going to storage so just now change my location and just click on create go to settings and go to systems and check floppy storage click on empty click on here choose and assign your iso image where you have downloaded double click go to network select bridge adapter okay click to next press to start now You can see on Ubuntu Junam is loading. Now, you can see on the screen whether you without installation you can try Ubuntu Junam or if you want to install Junam, you can go ahead and install. Uh, first, before uh, continue, this is welcome screen, so you need to select your language which language you belongs to for installation purpose. So, just select this language and click to install now. I'm going to install now. This is you to have at least 6.7 uh, GB 
variable districts, file space, okay. And it's in the characters, okay. So we're going to install. And this is from the check with party partner. You can check party, third party software. Click to continue. So here, if you have any data on your hard disk, just take a backup before you want to erase the entire disk. You can do something else, means you can resize these partitions according to memory. I can check this one. So click to next to continue. So now it's going. So if you want to change its according to purpose, the two partition is automatically editing. Change so for and swap. If you want to have something on your partition, you can go back and click to continue. So you need to select your language, uh, your time zone where you belongs to which country. It's by default select selected uh, selected Kolkata. So click on next. So this is a keyboard language. We want to select which keyboard language you can select, or you can type and search and test that one. Click to continue. Uh, automatic detect keyboard is there. Uh, I am to give a user username. That is, I am giving cloud, and then smell uh, cloud network. Okay. So I am giving. I am just removing the virtual box. Okay. Now I need to choose. Pick up username, the cloud network. Okay, I'm going to choose set the password. Okay, and I'm giving a weak password. You can give a strong password. It's required. Automatic login means uh, it can automatically log in. It does not have password. If you require login to password, you can check this next option and click to continue. Now it's installing. You can see it's 14.04. Simply easy to use. Like same thing is showing about how to use the application and access everything you need to have. Okay, scroll up. Okay, you can also skip here. There's some stuff is here. Okay, now skip it. Okay, click next. Okay, this is you can see Photoshop. This is software center of Bangalore. This is your Venus or access and this is help and center. So now you can see on the screen we need to restart it. Click on restart. Oh, you can see on the screen this is the welcome screen. We are going to make a full screen. Just click to install guest addition and then click to run. With the help of this, uh, into third password. With the help of this, we are going to make a full screen of this uh, 2.15.0 with it. Okay. Now it has been installed. We need to close this press enter to close this window and need to right click, go to settings, and then go to display and click on this. I need to click here. There. You can see after installing, I have just rebooted, so it's came a full screen. So you can see this is a full screen working. So you can see, see here, this is the my full screen. I'm going to show you full switch to full screen. Okay, so this is my full screen. It has been working. So here you can see, just click on activities you can find this is firefox this is mail photoshop library office files you can find this is your application will show you how many applications having click on it so here you can see all these are application you will find here just click here and if you want to type you can type here terminal you will get all those thing application okay okay so this is the final instructions so if you want to have full screen just type this command you will become with the full screen so if you have any problem during the installation if you want to comment below to my video you can comment below to my video please subscribe to articlaudna thank you for watching articlaudna video